This lesson is part of the TI Inspire CX student course. In this lesson, you'll see how to exit press to test mode, an environment where calculator functionality is purposely limited as required for some assessment items. If your calculator is in press to test, a small padlock icon will appear next to the battery symbol. A small LED will be flashing near the USB port on the top of your calculator. And some of the features on your calculator will be disabled. This tutorial will cover three ways to exit press to test. One way is to use the computer software that came bundled with your calculator. Open your TI Inspire student software, create a new document and insert a calculator application. Now connect your calculator to the computer using the USB cable supplied. From the file menu on your computer, select Save to Handheld. Select the handheld, open the Press to Test folder, and save your file as Exit Test Mode. Make sure each word starts with a capital letter and include a space between each word. When you select Save, the file will be transferred to your calculator and your calculator will automatically restart and will no longer be in test mode. Another way to exit Press to Test is to use another TI Inspire calculator. Connect the two calculators together using the calculator to calculator cable. Using the calculator that is in Press to Test, go to the home screen and select either Browse or Current Document. Now press the Document key. Select the option at the bottom of this menu, Press to Test. Then select Exit Press to Test. The calculator will restart and no longer be in test mode. If the first two options are not possible, your teacher will most likely have access to the TI Inspire Premium Teacher software. Have your teacher connect the calculator to their computer. The Premium Teacher software includes a calculator icon with a cog. Click on the icon and select Exit Press to Test. Any calculators connected to the teacher's computer will now exit test mode. That's all for this tutorial. Be sure to check out the other tutorials in this series.